Hello and welcome to CyWareX Weighing Technology. In this video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to calibrate the WP321. I'd like to show you on this demo model. The demo model comprises a small stainless steel container resting on four load cells. The four load cells are connected to the WP321 via a junction box. The WP321 communicates with an S7-1500 CPU via the ET200SP decentralized peripheral system. The CPU communicates with an HMI panel. On this HMI panel, you'll find the pre-installed ready-for-use project, which you can download at no cost from the Internet. You now have two options for calibrating the WP321. The first option is to use the HMI panel. The benefit of calibrating using the HMI panel is that you're inside the automation system and don't need any other equipment, such as a PC or additional software. The second option is to perform the calibration on a PC or laptop using the Siwa Tool software. The benefit here is that you're completely independent of the automation system, meaning from any Step 7 program or HMI visualization. In this video, I'll show you how to commission and calibrate the WP321 using the Siwa Tool software. You'll need a laptop or PC on which Siwa Tool software version 7 is installed. To calibrate the WP321, you'll also need a USB RS485 adapter. To establish communication between the Siwa Tool software and the WP321. In Chapter 13 of the WP321 manual, an adapter is listed under Accessories. Once a USB RS485 adapter has been installed in Windows, we can start the Siwa Tool version 7 software on the laptop. First, the device selection box is displayed. It lists all the CyWareX electronic systems that are supported by the CyWa Tool version 7 software including, for example, WP231, WP241, and further down, WP251, and finally, WP321. In this case, I select WP321 and confirm with OK. The Siwa Tool software now starts with the parameter settings from the WP321. To establish communication between the Siwa Tool software and the WP321, we first need to select Communication. Choose Interface from the menu and then select the particular COM port to which our USB RS485 adapter is connected. In my case, this is COM16. I select COM16 and confirm with OK. Now I can go up here in the Siwa Tool software and click the Online button to go online to my WP321. Note that going online simply means that we now have a connection between the Siwa Tool software and the WP321. The data is not automatically synchronized. In other words, the parameters may differ between the Siwa Tool software and the parameter settings within the WP321. For a better view, we can also enlarge the weight value by clicking here on the display button. The enlarged weight value is then displayed here. This makes it easier to read the weight value. 
I'm showing you only the most important parameters from Data Record 3 that are necessary for calibrating the WP321. The first of these is scale name. Here you can enter any scale name. In my case, the scale name is WP321. The next parameter is weight unit. In my case, the unit is kilograms. I leave it as it is, because my scale will later use kilograms as a unit. The next parameter is gross indicator. Here we can select either B for brutto in German-speaking countries or G for gross in English-speaking countries. I select G for gross. The next two parameters define the weight range. I need the weighing range to start at 0 kilograms. So I enter 0 here for the minimum weight and define my maximum weight as the maximum material weight that my container can hold. I have four load cells in my configuration, each with a nominal load of 20 kilograms. Meaning that I have load cells with a total capacity of 80 kilograms. Assuming that my stainless steel container weighs 10 to 15 kilograms, I'm left with a material weight of 65 kilograms that I can add to my container. This means that I set my maximum weight parameter to 65 kilograms. For the next parameter, resolution D, I enter the resolution of WP321. We currently have a resolution of 0 0.1. This means that when I press on the scale and change the weight value, I see the weight value change at intervals of 0 0.1 kilograms. Later, I'd like to have a resolution of 10 grams or 0 0.01 kilograms. I change the resolution D parameter to 0 0.01. The next parameter, calibration weight 0. I leave as 0 because I'll want to display 0 kilograms for an empty container later on. For the next parameter, calibration weight 1, I define the calibration weight that I want to use later for my calibration. In my actual case, I'm using load cells with a characteristic value of 2 millivolts per volt. In other words, I need a minimum weight of 2% of the 80 kilograms that my load cells weigh. 2% of 80 kilograms is 1.6 kilograms. I have here a calibration weight weighing 2 kilograms. I'll use this calibration weight later on for the calibration. I change my calibration weight 1 to 2 kilograms. This completes parameterization in the Siwa tool software. Now I have to write the changed data record 3 from my Siwa tool software to my WP321. To do so, I first have to activate service mode. I go to the button for service commands and select the service mode on command. Once service mode has been activated, this little icon with the red wrench appears in the bottom right hand corner of the Siwa tool display. You can also see the LED on the WP321. It starts to flash as soon as service mode is activated. Once I've activated service mode, I have to write the change data record 3 to the WP321. To do this, I go to the line with calibration parameter DR3. I right-click this line to open it and select the send data record command. Using this command, I send data record 3 to the WP321. I acknowledge this next dialog box. A warning dialog box with yes. 
It's just a safety notification to tell me that I'm now writing data record 3 with the change calibration data to the WP321. The parameters are now in the WP321 and you can see that all the parameters are now consistent again. This is also indicated by the fact that now the parameters are again displayed in black. The actual calibration is now performed in two steps. First I go to the service commands button and with an empty container execute the set calibration point zero command. I execute the command and my weight value jumps back to 0.00 kilograms. The calibration weight is then applied to the scale. I take my 2 kilogram calibration weight and place it on my empty container. I then go back to the service commands button and execute the set calibration point 1 command. After this command has been executed, my weight display shows 2.00 kilograms. Note that the calibration digits have been updated only within the WP321. The Siwa tool software still contains the old digit values, meaning that I now have to read data record 3 back into the Siwa tool software. One way to do this is to simply receive data record 3 again. Or else you can again select receive all data from the communication menu. This is also an option. Once the data has been read back into the Siwa Tool software, you also have the option of creating a backup file that allows you to save the Siwa Tool parameters to your computer. To do this, go to the File menu and select Save As. You can then save a backup file to any Windows directory. Calibration with a calibration weight using the Siwa Tool software has now been completed. Another option is automatic calibration. Automatic calibration doesn't use a calibration weight. Automatic calibration is recommended, for example, if you have a large heavy silo and no way to apply a suitable calibration weight. Data record 10 is used for parameterization. First we define the number of, no, of mechanical supports. In my case I have a container with four load cells, which means I have four support points. So in my case, I set this parameter to 4. For the next parameter, average characteristic value, I enter the characteristic value of the load cells. If I use multiple load cells, I need to specify the mean value. In my actual case, this is 199825 millivolts volts. So I entered this value for that parameter. Next, I have to specify the nominal load of one load cell. In my actual case, I have four load cells, each with a nominal load of 20 kilograms. Parameterization within the Siwa tool software has now been completed. I now need to send data record 10 to the WP321. To do this, I go to the line, Load Cells Parameter DR10, and right-click, and then send the data record to the WP321. 
Here as you can see, all the parameters are again displayed in black because the data is consistent between the Siwa tool software and the WP321. We've now prepared the WP321 for automatic calibration. With an empty container, all we have to do is execute the automatic calibration command. I execute the command and the weight value jumps back to 0.00 kilograms. Then I simply place the 2 kilogram calibration weight on the scale to see whether the automatic calibration was successful. As you can see, the exact weight value is now displayed. An automatic calibration has been completed. However, note that the calibration digits have now changed in data record 3. These are displayed in red in the Siwa tool software. And in order to send the current calibration digits from the WP321 back to the Siwa tool software, we need to receive data record 3. We select the Receive Data Record command. Here again, I'd like to suggest that you create a backup file. Automatic calibration has now been completed. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.